I really just wanted to turn the temperature up and expose this absolute terror of not existing. Okay, now what? <laughs> It's a good question. <laughs> so there's a terror of non-existence. That's true, accurate. So what? Yeah, it feels like a bit of a drama. Right. And so you want to turn the heat up so it'll cook it away and it'll disappear and it won't feel it anymore. <laughs> mm. Exactly, yeah. 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 Then you'll be the sleepwalking dead inside of the same horror of non-existence, but now you won't even be aware that you're terrified. Mm. <laughs> it's like unscrewing the little red light on your dashboard that lets you know something's wrong. Oh, let's get rid of that red light. Mm. <laughs> So see how the terror of non-existence has ruled your life, has created all your choices, made every decision. What you do, who you're with, where you live, what's all of it. So then you see your whole life is based in that terror of non-existence. And you see, is it worth it? Not at all. Good. Then you're willing to die for something bigger. You're willing to face non-existence. Yes, it brings some life to you. Suddenly you're happier. Just the very thought of it makes you happier. <laughs> Scared, of course, but also happy. Mm. Yeah. That's it. You know, my teacher would tell a story of uh, this person who comes for, to the road, cross the road for freedom, and in the middle of the road there's a snake. And so he gets scared and turns away. And every day he comes and there's a snake in the road, and so he gets scared and turns away. Until someday, someone comes from the other side. And as he comes up and he sees the snake, the person from the other side says, it's only a rope. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, so beautiful. And the whole world built on the belief in a snake disappears. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> When everything disappears, what's left? <laughs> oh, just light. Yes. Just and light. Love. Light and love. That's your true nature. That's what self means. That's myself. Oh, wow. Yes. I felt very trapped for a while. Yes. I was terrified. Yes. Oh. Oh, I'm here again. I'm sorry? I'm here again. Uh. I feel... Yeah. Who's here? Who's here again? I don't know. Yeah. Well, we'll find, find out. That's because see, yeah, that's, that's not it exactly. Okay. Now you feel good again. You don't feel afraid. You're not just cramped. But it's the same old here is still the same old mind is here again. 
So that's not it. It's deeper than that. It's actually the end of this one who's here again. Because you still believe you're here in a body as your body and you are the body and you're here as whatever, as light and love, whatever. But it's the same old, same old. It's deeper than that. Because when you cross the road for freedom, you're not here again. Hmm. Was a hiddenness. It's beyond the mind's ability to hold. Okay. All your thoughts are not it. It's not that. You're better off with the terror of non-existence. That's at least close to reality. <laughs> See, it's not about getting out of the trap of terror of non-existence so that now you can be here again and feel good about yourself. And it's not that, not that. The one who's terrified of non-existence disappears. Whatever is terrified of not existing doesn't exist. <laughs> then there's a surrender. Surrender of personal control. Surrender of personal destiny. Surrender of what you think you want and need. And that's all the imaginary snake keeping you in slavery. The belief in the snake is identical with the belief in me. Me that's terrified of non-existence. Then you don't kill the snake, you just disappear. <laughs> and that's where happiness is. That's where fulfillment is. It's beyond belief. <laughs> 